Oh, what an absolutely perfect night for October baseball. As we come to you from St. Louis, one of America's truly great baseball cities. Tonight's 2013 National League Championship Series coverage on TBS is presented by the Venture Card from Capital One. And we feature two teams that know exactly what it's like to be legends of the fall. Joe Kelly on the mound for St. Louis running. In spring training, he and Shelby Miller fought for that fifth slot. He did not win it and was sent to the bullpen, but he's come out of the bullpen and no one won more games than his nine in the second half. Kelly makes quick work of Crawford. One down in the first. And he hit him with the one-two pitch. He's got elbow protection, but it seemed like it might have missed the pad. And that ball gets away all the way to the screen. And the runners will move up to second and third. He gets Gonzalez for the second out. Strike three, tag of wide, Dodgers threaten, but Kelly's having none of it. We head to the bottom half of the first. Don Mattingly talked about Zach Greinke. He said that if Kershaw's is number one, Zach Greinke is number 1A. Outstanding year this year, 15-4 and four with that low ERA. And those 16 long balls. And Greinke... Says good morning, good afternoon, good night to Beltron. Two down. The 2 2. And there is strikeout number two for Zach Grinke. Crawford goes the other way. That's down for a hit that's going to rattle around in the corner. Crawford coasts into second as Holiday got the ball into third, but a leadoff double here in the third for Carl Crawford. Dodgers have had runners on in every inning. Grounded up the middle. Cosma to first. Crawford moves to third with one down. Kelly with the payoff. And runners are at the corners now with one out. And they are loaded for Yasiel Puig. Back-to-back -back walks by Kelly. Pitch right here. Right back to the mound. He bobbles, gets the force at the plate. Two down. Up the middle and through for a base hit. Here comes the throw to the plate. It'll be late and cut off, and the Dodgers are on top, 2-0. Juan Uribe. Off-speed fooled him, and that's the third strikeout for Grinke. I see it over home plate. Boy, he tied up Cosmo there. Through to left field. First hit of the night for the Cardinals, and it comes from Joe Kelly. And Carpenter draws a walk. They're at first and second. Pretty well hit. Right center field. Back to the track. Ethier cannot make the play. That's going to score a run. It scores two as Carpenter comes around following Kelly. And boy, has Beltron delivered here in the third. Just a little change up, and he did throw that pitch, but Beltron was waiting. And what did you say before? You got to play, you got to make plays. Keith, you're not able to make that play.
Tried to check again, but could not. And Mark Carlson said he went. Went upstairs and got him second strikeout. Popped him up. Freeze calls. And that'll do it for the Dodgers in the top half of the fifth. Again took something off and fooled him for the first out. So Kelly goes down swinging for the second out in the fifth. And Brinke strikes out the side as he gets Carpenter looking to end the fifth. Brinke takes a strike. And I don't know if he liked it. The 2-0 lofted into left center. Jay calling. And that'll do it for the Dodgers in the sixth. And it remains 2-2. And he does. A one, two, three inning for the Cardinals pin, which ends with a strikeout of Ramirez. Over the fastball away. There goes Jay. Ball hit to right, sinking. Quig makes the catch, the throw to first for the double play. Jay was on the run, so was Puig. The catch and the strike to first. We're still tied going to the eighth. Rounded to second. Four, six, three. The Cardinals turn it. Carpenter had a little issue getting it out of his glove. Cosma made the turn. It's still 2-2. Two, two as we go to the bottom half of the eighth. Chambers caught looking for the second out of the eighth. It appears that breaking ball is coming back to the outside corner. Ten strikeouts on the night. Masterful work by Greinke. We're heading to the ninth. Punched him out to start the ninth. One, two, three in the top of the ninth. Cardinal fans hoping to see a walk-off. Three and two. In the air to center field. Ethier squeezes it. And nine innings is not enough in game one. Into right center field. That's a base hit. And that ball is going to get past Jay and roll all the way to the wall. Ellis is around second. The throw to third will be late. And Mark Ellis is at third with one out. In the air. Not too deep. Beltron's got a great arm. Makes the catch. Throw to the plate. Here it comes. Ellis is out. What a throw by Beltron. into the mitt of Molina. We head to the bottom of the 11. Rounded up the middle. 
Kazma takes it himself on another inning-ending double play turned by the Cardinals. Bounced up the middle. Cosmo right in front of the bag. Gloved it and threw him out. One, two, three inning for Lance Lynn. Bottom 13 just around the bench. He's the starting pitcher. The 3 2. Blooped into center and it's going to fall for a hit. The Scalzos at first with one down. Four pitch walk. Winning run in scoring position. No sign needed. No. A three one is line to right. That's a fair ball in the corner. And the St. Louis Cardinals are going to win game one.